And welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you an extremely useful material for making all kinds of household and automotive repairs. If you're a hobbyist, then this is something that you should have on hand for all your projects. What you see right over here are white thermoplastic beads. Let me show you a few of them. Very tiny. They feel very similar to nylon and Teflon. They're a non-toxic, biodegradable, polyester material, and it's designed to melt using hot water or a heat gun. The plastic melts around 140 to 145 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 to 62 degrees Celsius. Once the beads have been melted, which I'm going to be showing you in a minute, you can form them into any shape that you need by hand. The best part about this material is its low cost and the fact that you can reuse it over and over again by simply reheating it in hot water or using a heat gun. Over here is a large ball that I made using this material. Melted all the beads, just rubbed it around in my hand to get the shape. And right here, you can hear how hard it is when I drop it on a terrazzo floor. And because it does have a fairly high density, when placed in water, as you can see right here, it will sink to the bottom. When the material has been heated to the correct temperature to melt, you'll have between one and two minutes to work that material into the shape that you need. This biodegradable polyester has very good resistance to oil, solvents, as well as chlorine. This material can be used to make many different things, but in this video I'm going to be showing you three or four ways that I've used it in the past. Because the majority of the videos on my channel are electronics related, I found it extremely useful that this material is an excellent electrical insulator, as you'll see in a few minutes when I perform a test using a mega. First, let me take some of these beads. I'm going to pour them in here. Then I'm going to boil some water, pour it inside. Then I'm going to scoop out the material. When you go to shape the material, make sure your fingertips are wet to prevent the plastic material from sticking. And if you're wondering, I have never been burned handling this material once it's been removed from the hot water. Okay, let's scoop some out. Place them right there. Pour in the hot water. And we're going to let that sit a minute and you're going to see it's going to become transparent already. Okay, I could touch this, it's not super hot, but you want to wet your fingers. You're going to reach in. And you can see that right there. See, I could touch that, it's not going to burn. So I can grab it. Keep my fingers a little wet. And you can see how beautiful you can shape that into anything that you need. Plenty of working time. You can roll it into a ball. And you can reuse it over and over. Now a while back I had a windshield wiper on a vehicle, the linkage. And what happened, the nylon bushing on the linkage broke. It looked like similar to what you see over here. And I did not have a bushing to put in there. I was living on an island in the Bahamas. So I used this. I rolled it up as a ball. And I took a pencil, inserted it through the middle. You can still see that this is remaining soft enough to work. Push the pencil through the middle. Slid it over the post. Push down the linkage. Then I flared this out. And it lasted years with no problem at all. Extremely cool stuff. Let me show you a couple of uses now. Now if you have a wire, especially inside of a vehicle, you don't want to use this material anywhere where the temperature is going to be close to that 140 or 145 degree melting point. You want to keep it 130 or less. But if you have a wire that's one continuous length and you do not want to cut it, but you want to tap into it and have an extremely good connection without using a crimp type of a connector to tap in, which I've seen in the past, sometimes the connection gets loose and the wire that's been tapped no longer receives power. What I do is I take this wire here, wrap it around really good a bunch of times. Once that's done, you're going to solder the connection 
And the only issue with soldering, if this is not very secure, then over time when you wiggle this back and forth, it could snap off right where the connection is made. Now you can't use heat shrink tubing because you didn't cut this wire, so you'd have to actually bend this back and use some electrical tape, which I do not like using because electric tape has a tendency, even when it's just warm outside, that it starts to unravel, leaving a whole bunch of black gook behind that gets all over your fingers. And it also does not do a good job keeping this in the correct spot. Sometimes when it gets hotter inside your vehicle, it may start to slide from the original position where the tape was. The only other option would be liquid electrical tape, like you see over here. You would brush it on. It is fairly thin, and you'd have to apply several coats, but you still would not have that strong mechanical connection besides the soldered connection. You don't want to have this moving around, the vibration, and having this snap off. So what I do, because this material is such a great insulator, you can take the plastic material, wrap it around the soldered area like you see right here, and you end up with an extremely strong connection between those wires. No matter what you do, you will never be able to damage the connection where it's soldered. Now I'm going to take my mega, connect it to here, and on top of the plastic material, which is in direct contact with the copper, and we're going to see how well it tests at 1000 volts. And it's on 1000 volts. Let's push it and see what we get. 1000 volt output, and you can see it's greater than 500 mega ohms across this connection, which is very good. Now another great use would be to connect two pieces of metal together with a hole. Rather than use a metal rivet, which would make it too tight, you'd want to have a connection that's movable, so you can go like this. So what I'm going to do is take this pellet right here, I'm going to soften it up with hot water, and show you how it's done. Okay, I'm going to insert this into the hole. Push it through, pinch off a little bit. I squeeze tight, round it off, both sides. You do have plenty of time to work it. Put that in cold water. Okay, that should be good. These two pieces of metal will now pivot. And it's extremely strong. You're not going to break that plastic. And it's going to last a very long time. Extremely useful if you're working on a mechanical project where you need to join two pieces of metal together without using a rivet. Now if you need it, you could also make a small bracket for something like you see right here. Drill a hole, bolt it down, drill a hole, connect it to whatever you want to connect to, and no matter what you do, you will not break this connection. It's very strong, it will flex a little bit, but that's about all. And right here is a very small piece of the plastic. You see how thin that is? Just to show you how strong. You can bend it really far and it does not try cracking. Pretty cool stuff. There may come a time when you need to coat the end of a bolt or a rod and you want an extremely smooth finish on the end that's extremely strong. In order to do that, we need to make the viscosity of the thermoplastic as low as possible. And to do that, you're going to use one of these mini heat guns. Once it's melted all the way down, we're going to take this bolt, roll the last 3 eighths of an inch in the plastic, and to prevent it all from running off the tip, you're going to have to keep moving your hand around and heat the tip with the heat gun to let it flow nice and smooth before you dip it in the cool water. Not easy with the camera in front of me. Keep it. Okay. 
looking pretty good. And as you can see, a beautiful finish on the end will not come off. It's really fused onto the end. Really useful stuff. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up, share, and look over my extensive video playlist which cover a wide range of subjects for other videos of interest to you. Thank you very much for watching.